Hey everyone, welcome to Booster Tutor. I'm Brandon, and on the 12th, wait, 12th, that means it's Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, Booster Roos! Merry Christmas, Beanie! Merry Christmas, Movie House! Okay, so, on the 12th day of crack a pack -mas, my true love gave to me. Let's uh, find out. Last day. And what we have is a pack of the Standard Showdown. So this is the special ones that you got if you played in like an F, not f &M, but it was like a Saturday Standard Tournament. And they would go out these. So there's three cards in there. I think it's like anything from the Standard sets, one foil premium, and at least another rare mythic, maybe two rares or mythic. So that's a one in three chance against them. Okay. So I like it. Let's try it out. All right, here we go. Their last try. Only three cards in here. Oh, I hope they're good. Standard showdown, pa showdown pack. I've never opened one of these before. Oh, let's see here. We got Panharmonicon. That's cool. Panharmonicon, four mana. Artifact. If an artifact or creature entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers initial time. So ETB effects, get them twice. Let's see. Okay, our other rare is, oh geez, Munda Ambush Leader, Munda. Two red, white, legendary creature, core ally, haste, three, four, rally. When he or another ally enters the battlefield under your control, you may look at the top four cards of your library. If you do, reveal any number of ally cards from among them, then put those cards on top of your library in any order and the rest in the bottom of any order. Um, for draft, he was pretty good. Um, two or two colors kind of suck, but the fact that he could just kind of, I don't want to say filter out your deck if you have allies, he's just help make, making you scry for it each turn for allies, basically. Not bad. And par Panharmonicon, I said, um, I've drafted this before. It's fun. It's more of a fun card than like a really good card for draft, but it is definitely fun and can do some crazy stuff. Let's see, it should be a foil. It is white. It is a 2 4. Oh, jeez. Steep Glider, 4 and a white. Creature Elemental, Flying Vigilance, 1 and a white. Target creature with a 1 1 counter on it gains Flying and Vigilance until end of turn. It's a 2 4. So 5 mana for a 2 4 Flying Vigilance. Target creature with 1 counter. Eh, I mean, jeez. I'm not going to first pick that guy. He's not bad. I think I'd take the Ambush Leader. Though, to have fun, I'd take Panharmonicon. You can do a lot of crazy stuff with in Kaladesh with it. Not that matters because you're never going to draft any of these together. <laughs> well, that was disappointing. So, guess what? I'm going to do a second one. Because <laughs> we haven't opened anything that good. So, here we go. Santa Showdown Pack. See oh, what we get. We've got ta ah, a flux, aether flux reservoir, four mana artifact. Whenever you cast a spell, you gain one life for each spell you cast this turn. Pay fifty life. It deals fifty damage to target creature or player. It's so dumb. No, you're not gonna play this in draft. This is horrible. And planar outburst. There you go. Planar outburst. Three white white sorcery. Destroy all non-land creatures. Awaken four. Pay five white, white, white. If you cast this spell for five white, 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 also put four one, one counters on target land you control and it becomes a zero, zero elemental creature with haste. It's still land. So for five mana, wipes all non-land creatures. For eight mana, it wipes all non-land creatures and you get a creature land. That's a four, four. So amazing card. Definitely first pick it. It's just so good. Um, and our foil is a green card. That is a spell. It's probably a common. It is a common. Larger than life, one in a green, sorcery. Target creature gets plus four, plus four, and gains trample until the end of the turn. It's not even a good card for limited. It's just so blah. The fact that it's sorcery speed. Ugh, I like the trample, but yeah. Guess what? Third pack. Let's do this. Okay. Standard Showdown back. <laughs> A 
Hey, Elder Deep Fiend, you're not played anymore. Eight mana, creature, Eldrazi Octopus, Flash, Emerge, five blue blue. You may cast a spell by sacrificing a creature and paying the Emerge cost reduced by that creature's converted mana cost. So if you have like something that costs four mana, you sack it, do the Emerge cost, this costs four less, so it'd be three mana, jeez, nice. It'd be one blue blue. And it's a five six, and when you cast it, tap up to two, up to four target permanents. Such a good card. Amazing Unlimited, you're definitely going to first pick that. Unless you get Tamiyo's Journal, 5 mana, Legendary Artifact at the beginning of your upkeep, Investigate. So that is, put a colorless clue artifact token onto the battlefield with 2, tap, sacrifice this artifact, draw a card. When you tap it, sacrifice 3 clues, search your library for a card, and put that card into your hand, then shelf your library. I mean, it's so slow. It's not a bad card. It's great in, or in uh, sealed. In draft, uh, you really have to make like a dirtily deck, which was easy in in, a, in uh, shadows, just because that format was really slow and limited. Just big old butts and two twos ramming into them. That sounded horrible. Sorry. Um, not gonna first pick that over Elder Deep Fiend, but not a bad card. And our foil is a blue card. That is a 2-1. That sounds bad. Courier guy? Yep. Courier fender. Ugh. Gross. Guess what, guys? I got one more. Let's do this. Okay. Here we go. Oh, please be something good. For the love of all that is holy. It's Christmas. Come on. Impetuous Devils. Two, a red-red. Creature Devil. Trample Haste. It's a 6-1. When it attacks, up to one target creature defending player controls blocks it this combat if able. So it's going to kill something, basically. At the beginning of the end step, sacrifice it. So, it's okay. It's like a one hit, kill something and get some damage in. It's not that great. I mean, you'd probably first pick it, but I don't really like it that much. Oh, we got a, ooh, Lumbering Falls. Uh, Aaron's Battlefield tapped. Tap it to add green and blue to your mana pool. Pay two green blue. It becomes a three three blue and green elemental creature with hexproof until end turn. It's still a land. Very good card. Um, I mean, you might. I was gonna say you splash for it, but you can't. You have to be blue and red. Ugh, I don't know if you'd first pick it, but maybe. I mean, it's not bad. Definitely fixes some mana. You probably take it. And our foil is okay. You know what? At least it's a foil rare. <laughs> can be a commander for all I care. No then Dar Royal Shaper. That's probably not right. Three white blue legendary creature Merfolk ally. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you may put three one one counters on target land you control. If you do, that land becomes a zero zero elemental creature with haste. It's still a land. Um that guy's really good. He's really dumb. He can get out of control so fast. I like him. Two mana kinda sucks, but out of these I don't know. I might just take the land. I get, that can be pretty good, but he is also pretty crazy. Just the fact though you have to have a lot instead of sorcery spells, you might take the Lumbering Falls just because it helps fix mana and it can become a creature. Okay guys, well, we tried. Sorry. All right, well, we tried. I don't know what happened to my luck. I usually have good luck, Opening packs? Not this Christmas, apparently. Wow. Well, if you still want to try and win all those cards we open, uh, Elvish Piper's in there, Gamble, that's about it. Maybe some other kind of cool things. If you want to try to win those, patreon.com slash booster tutor. Give $2 or more. Get your name into an entry to try and win it all. If you want to follow me on Twitter, booster underscore tutor. And you know what? Thank you so much, everybody. This was a fun experience. I love doing this, actually. Uh, you guys are great. Have a Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays, wherever you celebrate. Um, I'll probably have another video this week. If not, have a Happy New Year. And see you next draft.